The next problem that you're ready for in homework eight is using the Arrhenius equation to calculate K at one temperature from K at another temperature. This problem is going to have us use the um, equation where we combine two Arrhenius equations into one. So as a reminder, that is ln K1 over K2 equals E sub A, the activation energy over R times T1 minus T2 divided by T1 times T2. And so this problem is, you know, the only tricky thing about this problem is you've got to first of all make sure you get all your variables plugged into the right spot on this equation and then second of all is a lot of math that you have to do. You also have to watch out for um, your units with E sub A and R. Remember I warned you that those units are going to be inconsistent. So let's, let's go through this problem and find our variables. We've got an E sub A and I don't know if you remember this from 162, but I like to right away just change that into the right unit, 2,700 joules, 27,000 joules per mole. And then it says if the rate constant is this guy, so let's call this K1 at this temperature, so let's call that T1, what will the rate constant be at this temperature? So we'll call this one T2. And that means that we are solving for K2. And actually, this would probably be a whole lot easier on us mathematically if we did that the other way around. If we made the first one K2 and T2 and the second one K1 and T1, that way we're solving for the variable that's on the top of the fraction instead of down on the bottom of the fraction. So let's plug all these guys in. Natural log of K1, which is our unknown, over 1.4 times 10 to the 6th. I'm just going to not even bother with those units. Is equal to E sub A, 27,000 joules per mole over R, 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin. And now let's get our temperatures in there. And we haven't yet, but we need to convert these to Kelvin to get into the equation. So 94 plus 273 is, two, T2 is 367. And T1 is 283. So T1 is 283 minus 367 over 283 times 367. So see, this math equation is actually going to be pretty brutal. I want to just try to work the, the right side out. And I'm going to start here with this stuff. That's going to be a really big number, 283 minus 367 divided by 283 times 367, and then multiply that by 27,000 and divide by 8.3145. So we get negative 2.0, oh, negative 2.626. Now, do you remember what we need to do to get rid of the natural log so that we can solve for K1? We've got to use our E. So K1 over 1.4 times 10 to the 6 is equal to E to the negative 2.626. And we get... K1 over 1.4 times 10 to the 6th is equal to 0 0.0723. And so now you should feel good about solving for K1. And you should think when you're doing this about whether or not your number is going to make sense. So the K1 that we're getting is 1.01 .01 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And, and does that make sense? Because that seems like a really big number. How can we decide if it actually makes sense? We can look back at our original rate constant. I'm going to erase some of this stuff so we can see it better. Our original rate constant was also really big. So it's not that unusual that our new rate constant is also pretty big. 
and the new rate constant that we calculated is smaller. Does that make sense? Well, we went from 94 degrees down to 10, so we cooled it down. So that means that it should have slowed down. So yeah, this totally makes sense. 1.0 times 10 to the 5.